Uh, congratulations, Shreya. Uh, first of all, uh, we are very happy for you. You got an uh, offer from London School of Economics. So just uh, wish to know a small introduction of yours. Could you please provide? Yeah, uh, uh, my name is Shreya. I'm from, um, I, I'm, I'm from Delhi, but I live in Oslo in Norway. And I applied to uh, you. Mm, good. So how was your journey of preparation for colleges? You know, you enjoyed or you find that really it is tough? Um, I thought that it was, um, I thought it was pretty interesting. I'm in the process for the U.S. schools and the U.K. schools were quite different in the sense like um, that the U.S. schools are more focused on like everything like they want to know, they, they want you to have like good extracurriculars and obviously good grades and everything. And the U.S process is more simple simplistic than that they don't really have um a lot of like you don't have to do any like competitive exams except if you apply to like let's say oxford or cambridge um mm. and for some law courses you need to have some um competitive exams but other than that it's not like the u.s where you have to give the sat and everything but yeah mm. i thought the process was quite interesting and it kept me pretty occupied for two years so it was really good mm. That's great. That's great. So, Shreya, uh, as we know that uh, Nandan School of Economics uh, doesn't look at your SAT or ACT score. Yeah. So, and you are actually preparing. So, but in general, just we, we wish to know how was your uh, journey with master class space? How uh, you, you can give some feedback, whatever you wish to say? Um, I thought that... Um... The English classes were quite interesting when we were trying to, because English was sort of um, the subject that I was in a way more comfortable with, but I still got to like learn how to like tackle it more effectively, like to not take a lot of time, but just rather do it It with like a few tips and tricks and same with math. I mean, there's a lot of like, because it's timed and everything, you should, you should have like enough time to actually look at a problem and I thought that was something the classes helped with how to like do things fast. Mm, good, good, That's good. Great. Uh, I'm returning toward preparation uh, of, uh, you know, uh, London School of Economics. So what if somebody wants to prepare? So what will be suggestion for them? And uh, what would you suggest? Um, I mean, first of all, in the UK, um, it's, there's nothing specific, like I didn't do anything specifically for LSE, for example. It's more, it's more general in the sense that you apply for like, let's say five colleges of your choice in the UK. And for that, for example, most of the colleges I applied to, they also had the same grades, uh, as LSE. So number one thing is obviously that you need to have good grades or their required grades. So for like every, so for example, in India, they have like, oh yeah, you have to get like, I don't, I don't know exactly what this, but it'll be like, okay, you have to get like 90% in CBSC and then like, any percent in this with these specific subjects. So that's for every school, like LSC, UCL, Kings, or wh whatever school you're applying to in the UK. So you, first of all, you need to have the required grades. But then again, you, that's not what you should aim for. You should have like more than the required grades because I mean, it's a competitive process. So like a lot of people have those uh, specific grades. You should have, you should aim for like more than the required grades. Uh, and the other thing is that, um, so, like how in the US you have to write essays, but for the US you have to write a bunch of different essays. For the UK, you apply to five schools and you only have to write one personal statement, which goes through like a centralized application system. So you just have, you just have to write one personal statement, which is about, I would say like, it's 4,000 characters, about like 500, 600 words. Uh, mm -hmm. And in that, they're not really, honestly, you don't have to do a lot of extracurriculars for the UK. They mostly want to see your academic, like, inclination towards what you want to study because you're only applying for a course. Like, in the U.S., you apply for just, just generally, you'll figure out your major once you get there. But the U.K., you apply for a specific course. So, uh, for that, you should really have a good idea of, like, why you want to study that subject, why you're motivated to study for the next, like, three, four years. And that really needs to reflect in the person statement itself. So you need mm. to, you need to like sort of convince them that, yeah, this, I'm, this is what, why I'm interested. Mm. And this is why I want to study it. And then of course, uh, usually what they say is like, let's say for your essay, 
maybe 80% of it should be talking about your academic uh, interests and why you like that subject. And if, for example, you have extracurriculars that are related to what you mm. want to study, then you can talk about it, but it shouldn't be that much. It should only be like 20% of the personal statement itself. So yeah, that's that's sort of about it. That's all you need. And then the other thing you need is a reference letter, but that's that's from your teacher. So that's not really up to you anyways. So in short, they want that the reason of, uh, you know, choosing subject. So they want everything yeah. in detail about that. Yeah. Oh, and another okay. thing is, sorry, I forgot to mention, you can talk about one thing they really look for is that, oh, are you are you only like sort of studying the subject in class or do you have like do you do further reading about it for example like i applied for like uh, politics and international relations so i needed to sort of talk about oh you know these are sort of the books i've read and this is how like i keep myself updated and everything even outside class so yeah so what degree oh, you are going to uh, pursue oh i'm gonna pursue inter uh, politics and international relations undergrad in politics and oh. international relations yeah. Oh, wow. good, good, good. So, Shia, what are your future plans? Um, honestly, I, I don't have like <laughs> a very set plan for what I want to do. I mean, I just, uh, I, I know that this is sort of what I want to study, and after that, I obviously want to do like a master's degree before I start working. But I, I, I couldn't tell you like what. <laughs> what it, it it is exactly that I'm like aiming for. Good, good, mm, good, good, good. Mm. No problem. So, uh, any dream that you want to fulfill? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like, uh, maybe I, I I think like working in the United Nations could be quite interesting. Oh. And something mm. that like is related to what I'm studying right now. Something that interests me. Yeah, maybe, mm. maybe that. Ah, ah, really, really appreciate. Mm. Good, 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 good. So, just, uh, uh, just wish to know, though, though you are from Delhi and you are living in Oslo, uh, would you like to contribute something to India if you have some plans in future? Yeah, of course. I mean, I've, I haven't spent the amount of time I've spent in India has been more than the amount of time I've spent in Norway or anywhere. So I'm obviously very much connected to India. So yeah, and especially with the sort of subjects I want to study, I think it could be like applicable to um, doing doing something in India. So yeah, definitely sometime in the future. Mm. Good, 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 good. Okay, uh, because you are going for international study and in international relationship. So what is key that, uh, you know, uh, excited you to join that international relationship study? Um, I think it was just uh, because I've I've lived in a few different countries by now, not for too long, but because like I'm from India, then I lived in, a, in Singapore for a bit, then I came to Norway. So just sort of this, uh, just like sort of traveling around made me realize that um, there's a lot of like differences in the world, like in terms of standards of living, for example, and and just um, sort of seeing that and also studying about it, making that connection in general interested me. And I thought this is something that I'd, 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 li I'd like to study in the future. Good, good. Good, good. So, sir, any more question you would like to know from Shreya? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, last question. Uh, see, uh, because, uh, you know, uh, instead of science and technology, now you are going to choose politics, international study. Yeah. So, uh, what is the scope of uh, you know uh, tech uh, you know relationship i mean econ uh, politics and international study uh, from career point of view um i think that it sort of depends or from what i've understood every time i've talked to like my father about it it sort of depends on like what like line you pursue so if in the future for example let i mean you have to sort of do masters because like uh, bachelor's is kind of like not enough in that aspect so like if you want to after your master's either you can sort of work in corporate and you know maybe work in a company in, in like the international business section or something if you get like like an MBA or 
or you could sort of work for any NGOs or international organizations, which is like ideally what I'd like want to be doing. So in that case, you're sort of going into government and policy making and policy reform. Another thing is obviously you could go into like politics itself. So you can like become a politician, but that differs. Like you can go into foreign services, you can become a diplomat. Uh, and then of course you have, uh, if you, if you're interested in like researching more, then you can sort of go into, into the academic sector of things and like mm. uh, do a PhD or something. So you have a long-term plan, I mean, because you want to know everything in detail and you want to work on international level, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, good. It's a lot of wishes and best of luck for that. And, you know, you. I, I wish really that you should get whatever you desire and Thank whatever you. you aim. So congratulations yeah. once again from us. Thank you. Good times. Bye-bye. All right.